Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this video, you should be able to illustrate the tangent line, tangent segment, tangent ray, and point of tangency. Define and determine the common tangent. Illustrate second line, second segment, and external second segment. Identify the two special types of sector of a circle. Illustrate sector and segment of a circle. Let us start our discussion on tangent line. By definition, we can say that tangent line is a line coplanar with a circle and intersect it in one and only one point. Coplanar means same plane, meaning that the circle and the line is on the same plane and they intersect at exactly one point. The point of intersection of the line and the circle is called the point of tangency. In the given figure, we can already determine our tangent line, and that is the line LD. And the point that touches the line and the circle is point R, meaning point R is our point of tangency. Let's talk about tangent line. The tangent line is always perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. In the given figure, we have the circle G. Also, we have two tangent lines, and those are the line JH, which is the red line, and the line OA, which is the green line. Also, we have two point of tangency. The first point of tangency is the point E of the red line and the point V of the green line. Moreover, we have two radius in the given figure, and those are the segment EG, which is the yellow segment, and the segment GV, which is the blue segment. Therefore, we can conclude that the line JH is perpendicular to the segment EG at point E. Also, we have the line AO is perpendicular to segment GV at point V, meaning that we formed 90 degree angles. Those are the angle JEG is equal to 90 degrees, angle GAH is 90 degrees, angle GVA is 90 degrees, and angle GVO is equal to 90 degrees. Another thing that you need to know about tangent line. If two tangent lines intersect the same exterior point, then the distance of the two point of tangency to the intersecting point are congruent. In the given figure, we have two tangent lines. The first one is the line LV, which is the red line, and the line UV, which is the green line. Also, we have two point of tangencies. The first one is the point O of the red line and the point E of the green line. As you notice, we have the intersecting point or the point wherein the two lines intersect and that is the point V. According to the statement given, the distance of the intersecting point to the point of tangencies are equal. So we have segment OV is equal to segment EV. If the measurement of segment OV is equal to 8, therefore the measurement of segment EV is also equal to 8. Segments and rays that are contained in the tangent or intersect the circle at exactly one point are also said to be tangent to the circle. In the given figure, we only have one tangent line, 
and that is the line VX or the red line. But we have three point of tangencies. Those are the point W, the point Y, and the point S because we have three tangent to the circle. Those are the line VX, the ray YZ, and the segment RT. The ray YZ is the color green and the segment RT is the color blue. Let's talk about common tangent. Common tangent is a line that is tangent to two circles in a plane. It can be in a form of common internal tangent or common external tangent. Common internal tangent intersect the segment joining the centers of the two circles. In the given figure, we have circle A and circle B, and the segment joining the centers of the two circles is segment AB. Example of common internal tangent is line N, where it touches or it intersects the segment AB. Another example of common internal tangent is line M or the red line. However, the common external tangent do not intersect the segment joining the centers of the two circles. In the figure, we have circle C and circle D and the segment joining the two circles is segment CD wherein an example of a common external tangent is line O because it do not intersect the segment joining the centers of the two circle which is the segment CD. Another example of common external tangent is the line P. After tangent line, let's talk about second line. By definition, a second line is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. In the given figure, we have two second line, the line LM and the line PN. Also, a second contains a chord of a circle. So we have the line LM is a second line that contains the chord LM. And the line PN is also a second line that contains the chord PN. Second can also be in the form of segment, and that is a second segment. A second segment is a segment with one endpoint on a circle one endpoint outside the circle, and one point between these points that intersects the circle. In the given figure, we have two second segment, the red one and the blue one. Or, the second segment R, the segment OR, and the segment TR. Also, you need to know about external second segment. The external second segment is the part of the second segment outside the circle. In the given figure, we can say that the external second segment are the segment RP and the segment RS. Let us discover about the sector of a circle. By definition, it is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the endpoints of the arc. In the given figure, the region bounded by angle DOT is the sector of circle O, or the yellow region is the sector of the circle. We have two special types of sector, the semicircle region and the quarter region. The semicircle region is a sector bounded by the diameter. On the first figure, the yellow region is an example of a semicircle region bounded 
by angle ATH and arc AMH. Quarter region is a sector bounded by a quarter region of a circle. The yellow region is an example of a quarter region in figure 2, where it is bounded by angle TOG and arc TG. For the last part of the video, let us illustrate segment of a circle. By definition, it is the region bounded by an arc and the segment joining its endpoint. Given the circle R, the region bounded by segment AE and arc AE is the segment of circle R, or the yellow region is the segment of the circle R.